We haven't seen many Hunter Gordos. Oh, what the? Why are you biting me? Ah, ah, what the? Why? What's up guys and welcome back to Slime Rancher. Now when we last left off we had teleported to this brand new island in the map and I have no idea what to expect here. I mean we already found the crystal slimes, we already found their cave, I would imagine that their food is probably going to be over there as well, so I don't know why they added another area with this update. I don't think there's any more new things to see but uh, you know maybe there'll be something cool there's these giant rings over there that look kind of artificial right it looks like rebar holding them together so hopefully if we go around the island we'll actually be able to see something over there I have no idea it might be huge it might be small it's like I said I try to stay surprised whenever doing this kind of thing so let's take a look around. Also, guys, I hear you loud and clear. So many people have been leaving comments telling me that my puddle slimes aren't gonna make any plorts because I have too many of them in my little puddle, and that's fine. I don't I don't need more plorts. I don't collect them and I don't sell them because I have more money than the game knows what to do with. I can already buy everything in the game ten times over, so there's just no point in me farming anymore. I'm all about the exploring now. So we're gonna try to get a higher ground here and see what is going on. Uh, there we go. It's so weird because I'm seeing more indications of man-made things. And I know there are man-made things all over the place. We have the torches, we have the walkways made of wood. But this stuff looks a lot more, like, ancient. Like, we have these stone rings, we have these slabs that are all abandoned. I mean, all over the world we see these, like, stone-carved, I guess, pink slimes there, technically. And, uh, yeah, again, more walkways, more torches, and these giant rings, right? It does look like reinforced concrete, I guess you could say. That is so strange. Either way, there's not a whole lot of stuff here, as far as I can tell. There's tires all over the freaking place, but they're everywhere no matter what. Hmm, I would love to find a door, like I said, maybe, maybe a door, maybe a way into this mountain? There's, there's got to be more here. I, I, I'm just racking my brain trying to figure out why the developers would put this here. I mean, maybe it's going to be used in the future for something more important, but that's not usually their style. Usually if they're going to open up an entire area, it's for a reason. <laughs> lots of food, lots of slimes, ow, lots of tars, suck it. Yeah, you guys can all go for a swim, but uh, nothing new, nothing really going on. So I guess this is a bit of a bust. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy that they added more to the map, but it'd be nice if there was a reason for it. I would imagine this has to be, like, some kind of area for new slimes. Like, like there's gonna be something coming along that's gonna live here specifically. Maybe there's something on the top of this mountain for me? Uh, come on, come on, no, I can't get any higher. What the hell are those? Are they birds? We've never seen animals in this game that aren't slimes, unless they're flying slimes but I don't think they're real. Okay, what if we uh, try to get on the rings? I get the feeling there's a height limit in this game and I'm reaching it. <laughs> like I can't really go, oh, okay. I can go a little bit higher. Oh, what have we got up here? Yeah, I can definitely get on the rings. Secrets maybe? Secret secrets? I would like some secret secrets. That's not a very good secret. It's just a bunch of heartbeat roots. <laughs> I am getting really, really high up now, and I don't think I can get any higher. Like, it's just, it's too far. I'm so close to the birds. Yeah, you see, I can't go any higher than that no matter what. Okay, that's fine. I want to try to get out here, because if I die, it doesn't really matter. I don't have anything on me, but I would love to see. Aha! Okay, they are solid. What are these? Uh. Okay, whoa, whoa, little far, little far, there we go. Huh. All right, well, this was completely unnecessary, but cool nonetheless. Well then, I guess that's all that the new island has to offer. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of other things here. Hmm. All right, well, either way, it's like I said, we have crystal slimes now, and I want to do some more experiments. I want to make all of the crystal slime gordos today, but I think I also want to try to find their favorite food, because we don't have a perfect ranch anymore. We don't have any odd onions. So, we're gonna have to go back to the to their cave, I guess? Because I don't, we haven't seen it anywhere else, and it only makes sense to be in their cave, because it's not in this area. Is this teleporter gonna take me back? Yep, there we go. Okay, we're good. So where, oh where, would you find an, oh, an odd onion? Hey, an odd onion, it's just that easy. What is it doing sitting here? 
Doesn't make any sense. I wouldn't trust this onion even less so than a normal onion. Because it's an odd onion? Okay. Well, either way, we found one. I don't know why we found one, because I don't think it grows there. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, maybe they just, I see. Hence, odd onion, because they don't grow in a normal spot themselves. They grow with other vegetables. They just like pop up with carrots and stuff. Okay, well then, that was an also relatively easy hunt. All the things I had planned out for this episode are going by way too fast. All right, so we're gonna go uh, plant our odd onion and then start making some Gordos. I'm really curious to see what the crystal Gordos look like because they might make different crystals. I don't really know. I don't know what to expect. Like, could they make radioactive crystals to defend themselves? That would be terrifying. So we've got some odd onions growing and they apparently grow with carrots as well. I don't understand why. It's, it's very odd. Their name makes a whole lot of sense. And I'm also realizing that all of my produce goes bad. And it doesn't seem just to be during playtime. It seems to be when you're not playing because I logged in. I don't play this game when I'm not recording. And all of my vegetables are gone. Like, there's, there's nothing left. See? So, where does it all go? <laughs> it's gonna make keeping a perfect ranch really, really difficult. Right? Yeah, everything is just expired. I don't get it. I don't really feel like waiting. These odd onions could take a million years to grow, so we're just gonna give these guys carrots. You like vegetables, right? There we go, they like vegetables. They're gonna give me a bunch of plorts. That should auto-collect them. I might be able to grab a few of them. Uh, yeah, no, no, okay, you guys, you guys do it yourself. <laughs> guys, your pen is such a disaster. How, how do you keep these things? Where am I gonna put the Gordos? I might need to do the experiments outside where I can, like, get rid of- I can just dispose of them when we're done very easily into the ocean because if I try to do it in here, there are gonna be tars everywhere. Come here, you. I need- There we go. We have a pink slime. Now, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. Normally, when I do the Gordo experiment, I'll make one and we'll look at it and then I'll either throw it in the ocean, or incinerate it, or something will happen so that it doesn't cause any trouble. This time we're going to be working in a bit more controlled conditions. I am going to be putting one of every slime. I just got an achievement six pack, I guess because I have so many different slimes in here. And then we're just going to make them all into Gordos, right? They shouldn't be able to make any tars. So how much do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven? Is that good? Boom, boom, you need to get one. Come on, boom. Don't be left out. There you go. Oh my god. Okay, we need one for rock. That is ridiculous. See, now I can take them out one at a time and take a look at them if I want to. So you can come here and we're gonna take a look at the rock one. The rock one just looks like a, like a really big crystal one. There's very little difference. I wonder if he rolls, do they all make crystals? They seem to all make crystals, so do you roll and make crystals? Because that makes you an uh, absolute hazard. You do roll, okay, and do you make crystals? You, and you make crystals, okay. You can go back in the cage. You're terrifying. Oh, I like the honey one. I think honey slimes are my favorite just because they're all, okay, no, kitty, kitty, that kitty. Wait, why is the kitty rolling? What? Do the crystal slimes roll? I thought that was a, a rock slime thing. This is gonna get out of hand really quickly. Oh, okay, that's how they, they make their crystals, I see. You're kinda cool looking too. Look at that, you're like a sp spiky kitty. You you go in there. Rad slime, okay, I take it back. Rad slime might be the most dangerous because, ah, ah, radiation and exploding crystals. Do you make radioactive crystals? That would be really cool. No, you, ah, you just make hurdy crystals. Okay, that's that's fine. We haven't seen many hunter gordos. Oh, what the? Why are you biting me? Ah, ah, what the? Why? Is he feral? Oh, ah, ah, whoa. Where's he going? Get back here, Michael Jordan. I think, yeah, I think the hunter gordos are feral. That's not good. Okay, you you go back in the pen. Stop misbehaving. Ah, ah. Yeah, he's biting me and stuff. It is so hard to get one of them out at a time. Come here, boom crystal. There you go, you sit yourself right down there and you're, yeah, essentially a frag grenade. Like I said last episode, he's just gonna make a whole lot of little bits around him and then explode, right? Do you still explode? I would imagine you do. It's it's in your boomy nature, you're like an, ah, like an electrode, okay. <laughs> in you go. 
What haven't we looked at yet? The Phosphor, the Phosphor is so boring. I know they're really cool looking because they're kind of like fairies, but they just don't act, they just don't do anything, right? They just float around their little silly wings and antenna. Ow, you guys, just stop, just stop. Yeah, they're they're okay, I guess. They don't really do anything. And the pink one, ah, oh my god, I'm actually, am I gonna die here? Stop eating me. I don't even see the pink one, probably because he's just so vanilla and uninteresting. Yeah, there he is. Okay, the pink one is in there. That I'm not even gonna take him out. That doesn't really do anything. Is that all of them? I can't think of any, ah, that we haven't seen already. <laughs> I don't even wanna take them out. I just wanna leave them like this. Mostly because cleaning up this mess is gonna be a challenge to say the least. But yeah, that is all of the crystal slime gordos and they're pretty interesting. I gotta say, I like that they can all make crystals, that they all get the crazy things on their back. It would've been cool if the crystals were different. Like if the boom crystals exploded, if the rad crystals were radioactive, I don't know, anything. They just, they seem like a haphazard, almost lazy mix of the two. How much does a crystal plort sell for these days? 48? They're not bad slimes, come to think of it. Again, I really don't need to be selling because it's like I said, all of these are always full all the time, right? 99 and probably 100, all this food over here. I feel really bad because I barely feed them. Like I'm pretty much just going out exploring, making the episode, coming back and ending it. I don't do like a lot, a lot of ranching because I don't know, the game just gets tedious. I think I've kind of pushed it to its limits. There's not a whole lot left for me to be doing. Ah, no, I don't want Restro. Restro, you stay in there and uh, all these hens, you guys are now foods. <laughs> it's why I'm always hoping that they have really big updates. Like even this most recent update, they did introduce a bunch of new things, two new areas, a new slime, new food, that kind of stuff. But it's still only like maybe 25 minutes worth of a video. There's just not a whole lot going on. Have we ever gone inside my house? Think of it, I don't know if we have. We have all this stuff outside and uh, a cute little doormat. E to activate, I've died and walked out well then, I have a very nice little home. I have a little pink slime plushie. Uh, male, sleep until morning, return to ranch. Male. Oh, this is just where you get the updates and stuff. Bob says, hello, hello, chickens. Hello, chickens, chickens. Hello, Bob. BSS, chicken. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Slime Rancher, guys. And it's like I said, the, the game really does need more. I think one of the biggest things is that it's only a ranching game. With every other kind of farming simulator, like Stardew Valley, like Harvest Moon, there's a social aspect to it. You have to go out, you have to interact with people, form relationships, buy stuff. With Slime Rancher, it's just the farming. It's kind of like Pokemon, once you've caught stuff, there's no reason to go get more, so it kind of gets stale really quickly. So I'm really hoping that the game develops more, that they keep expanding the world and stuff like that, but right now, there's just nothing else for me to do. I have every slime, I have every food, we've seen every area, so until there's another update, I really can't show you guys any more. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. I swear 90% of this game is just Arya jiggling through the desert to being chased by something that wants to eat her, and this isn't okay. I'm getting tired of it. I, I, I had a flying mount. We were good to go. Myrtle isn't dead. I would be given a notification if she was dead. I just, I have no idea where the hell she is.